It's one of the biggest nights in Tottenham's European history against Gareth Bale. And that could be a key factor here as Tottenham are under pressure and they've conceded. It's Zanetti, the legendary skipper of Inter Milan, who has scored in just over a minute. What a setback for Tottenham. What a start for Inter Milan. Their most famous player finds the net. One of the quickest goals of the Champions League season. Well, it's a wonderful goal as well. Spurs were a little bit loose, but... In Werder Bremen, and had a part to play in the first goal, an own goal as well, as Bale goes down on the edge of the box, but the referee points for a goal kick. Well, that's going to be a great battle, I think, Mike, on against Bale. Bale's, well, equally adept at coming inside or going outside, but... Spurs always with an attacking edge, but they're on the defensive again here. Now, that was a risky challenge by the goalkeeper, Gomez, and the referee has pointed to the penalty spot, and it could get worse. It has got worse. It's a red card for the Tottenham keeper. This is unbelievable. Only seven minutes on the clock, already a goal down. A delayed run-up from Eto, but the outcome decisive. And Inter Milan sweep into a 2-0 lead here on what has proved a disastrous opening 10 minutes. And to Mike on. It's a lovely move again. Oh, they've been beaten once more. Stankovic finds the net. 13 minutes gone. And an unbelievable scoreline. Inter Milan 3, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Spurs Champions League campaign crumbling all around them in the San Siro. Really seemed to be picked up by any defender and he's going for it again here. Spectacular effort. Well, that could have deflected easily in for another goal. Two Snyder. Efforts. Two efforts there, wasn't it, Alan? long night for these Spurs players as Coutinho slides one through to Eto'o, he's onside Pudicini fails to stop him and Inter Milan have made it four well again, ten men or no ten men it's really poor defending question of offside, was he offside because Gallas and Basson seemed to stop between them as he got in behind Gallas Biabiani over his head, Mike on. And again. Well, beautifully done by the young Brazilian. And still finds a way through. Wonderful skill. <laughs> Dancing around Alan Hutton, who's trying to stay on his feet on a tricky surface. But there's some lovely tight passing between those three. Coutinho. run from Bailey, so unstoppable in these circumstances oh that is a fantastic goal well it's a night when virtually everything that could have gone wrong for Tottenham has gone wrong but that is a memorable moment magnificent goal by Bale well this kid's an outstanding athlete isn't he Gareth Bale and I was talking about encouraging signs for the return leg and here it is well, it's a terrific run forward Coutinho takes it on slides it just wide well, good feet from the young man again to get the shot away <laughs> and no shortage of confidence either Cabell gave it away and they immediately on the back foot, but he does really well here look Snyder there's Coutinho it's a very good effort towards the back post and Hutton tries to find a way through on his own and here goes Bale Keane is up in support. He's gone for goal again! Well, it was like an action replay. Absolutely superb. Another wonderful Gareth Bale goal. What a shame it's come in the final minute. And this is against the top team in Europe, and this kid is uh, something special. And the Spurs fans love it as well. And, and goal now could make things interesting, couldn't it? And Bale is in space again here. And Leonard's picked him out. Oh, this is incredible. This is quite incredible. Gareth Bale has scored a hat-trick at the 
San Siro. Preaching for the final whistle, and now they hear it. Well, where do you start to sum up a game like that? Frankly, it was lost from Spurs' point of view in the first 13 minutes when they conceded three goals and had goalkeeper Gomez sent off. 4 0 down at half time. They came back quite magnificently in the second half, and this young man has written headlines.